So today we will see how to make explosions in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. Let's create a new project in Unreal Engine. So under games, I will use the third person template. I have also included the starter content in my project. Let's name our project something like uh, explosion. Create. Now we want to add the asset that we want to explode. So let's add some quicksil content here. I will look for stacked bricks. And this is the one I'm using. I have already downloaded the high quality one. So you can download the high quality one and add it to your project. So now it is added to our project. If we go to the mega scans folder, let's open the static mesh and let's add some collision here. So first let's see if it has some collision and we don't see any collision. So let's add one. I will add the box simplified collision. That looks good. Now let's drag this as a tall level. We can press F to focus on it. Let's enter the fracture mode. So now with this asset selected, let's click this new button to generate a new geometry collection asset. Create geometry collection. And here in the details, let's hide the bone colors. So I will take it off. Show bone colors, I will take it off. And uh, with the asset selected, let's fracture it so i will use the uniform fracture and here uh, i will say 50 and 50 for the minimum and uh, maximum Voronoi sides and fracture now let's enter the selection mode now you can see that the static mesh is replaced by a geometry collection actor we can now delete it from our level and make a new blueprint so in the content folder let's add a new blueprint actor let's say bp bricks let's add our static mesh to our actor and in the event graph let's create a custom event i'll call it explode so first we can look at a simple explosion that uh, does not involve the chaos physics or does not involve the geometry collection. So let's try that. And uh, let's select our static mesh and rename it. Let's say bricks. Now let's drag it to our event graph to create a reference. And when we, when this actor explodes, we want to destroy this uh, static mesh so we can use destroy component and now here we want to spawn uh, some emitter and now because i have included starter content i have some templates here i will use this explosion one and uh, if you are using the niagara system you can maybe use a different node So maybe you can use uh, something like spawn system at location, but uh, we will use the uh, spawn emitter at location because the starter content that we have are uh, cascade particle system and the location should be our actor's location. And now let's also add some sound. So we will play the sound at our actor location and in the starter content there is also this explosion sound I will select it you can also look for it so I will use the explosion one and then after some delay I want to destroy the actor so let's say after a delay of five seconds we can destroy the actor
let's see how that looks also let's change the scale of this emitter let's say three three and three now when we drag the blueprint in our level you can see that it is pretty small i will also scale it so with this look uh, clicked here i'll say six so it will scale the x y and z uh, by six let's put this somewhere like uh, here you can press the end key to snap it to floor now that looks good so now in the begin play let's say after a delay of two seconds we want to explode this actor so after a delay of two seconds we can call the custom event that we created explode so for now that is how it looks let's add a camera shake so under all classes let's look for camera shake base actor so this is what we will use and uh, let's call it something like cs uh, explosion so cs for camera shake open it now in this root shake pattern let's select uh, pearly noise camera shake pattern and uh, let's say the location amplitude multiplier is uh, 8 and frequency multiplier is 24 also let's edit the timing duration let's say 0 0.5 seconds blend in time and blend out time for both uh, let's say 0 0.1 seconds now back in our blueprint let's play the world camera shake before the delay and we can select the camera shake that we just created to the epicenter let's connect the actor location outer radius let's say 12500 Now let's see how it looks. So that looks better. So that is a simple way that uh, we can make things explode in Unreal Engine. Now, if we want this uh, actor to turn into pieces, we can add uh, the geometry collection that we just created. So let's see how to do that. So after we destroy this component, Let's say we can add geometry collection component. And with this not selected, let's select the geometry collection that we want to use. And uh, to this geometry collection component, we also want to add some impulse. So let's say add radial impulse. And the origin here will be the actor's location. So let's get actor location. For the radius, let's say 200. And strength, let's say 1 million. Also, we want to make some changes to the geometry collection that we made. So let's open it. So we have mass as density. And to the mass, let's say 25,000. So I will add one more zero here and let's also see that inside this size specific data the collision shape is set to implicit implicit and convex if it is set to something different for you maybe you can try changing it to this and there's this damage threshold that you can try changing if you want to for now i will use these defaults now let's see how it works 
and uh, that looks fine so if you in increase or decrease the size of uh, the asset that you're using of the actor that you're using you may have to change uh, the impulse that you add so you may have to change these the radius and impulse and you may also have to change uh, the mass of your actor and uh, if you want you can add some small delays between so you can add some small delays uh, between you spawn this uh, between you add this component and uh, add this force if you want to very small delay and uh, you can also add some very small delay between uh, this uh, impulse and uh, this uh, spawning the amateur if you want to for now i am just keeping like that so maybe uh, if you want to you can try changing these uh, to make sure that your explosions look like you want them to so that is how we can uh, make uh, simple explosions in unreal engine if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video thank you